All right, guys, we're back for round 18 of 2021 Super Coach. Um, the probably like bit most chaos week in terms of injuries. Um, it was tough. You saw the score wasn't too bad this week, considering. Um, yeah, not not great though. A um, couple of things. Uh, I've already made trades because I thought the thing started yesterday, but it didn't. So I'll just undo that. Um, yeah. So we'll go through the team quickly. Defense. These four weren't too bad. May had an off game, which was coming sooner or later. Um, yeah, this all fine. I'd like them higher, but honestly, at least they all tunned. Yeah, I'll take one missed ton, honestly. Uh, just Field Whitfield. He'll be playing this week. I waited for lineups. He he is playing. They moved the game to Sunday, so it's guaranteed he will play. Steel Walsh, amazing. Um, probably starting them next year. I'm thinking the midfield is something like these four to start, and then you just you know work it out. Uh, Dunkley, I think, does keep his forward, so I'll probably start him as well. It, yeah, we'll see. Uh, Bont off game under 100. Uh, better this happens now than like when it matters, like for league and stuff. Because if you're out of rank now, pretty much staying out of rank. There's not too many weeks left. Um, yeah, better it happens now. Against Melbourne, he should put up a good game. I don't think anyone can really stop him there. He's probably bigger than everyone. Um, at least, oh, Petrarca could. Petrarca's got like a big body as well. Yeah. Uh, Cray's obviously good. I think he had 30-something touches again. Um, Merritt, 114. I think it should have been higher, but it is what it is. I think Parrish took a lot of the points. And um, was it Kale Hooker? I think it was Kale Hooker or Peter Wright, one of the two. Lions, again, sort of disappointing. I think he should have... He should kind of be scoring more, um, but you know, you take it. And then Josh Kelly rolled his ankle. Uh, surprise, surprise! A GWS player got injured. Who, th who would have thought? Um, actually, two of them are injured. One's in isolation. Um, yeah, it, who would have thought that GWS players miss games? Uh, I, I wouldn't say trade because he's still a. A chance to play this week from what I've heard uh, just in you know posts from the team and their managers and stuff like that uh, who knows if he actually does play no you know mind read or anything but uh, even if he misses he'll probably only miss one week uh, judging just you know from the conversation uh, so worst case scenario you just bench him for a week Ray Shaw yeah whatever Geelong killed them you know last week so that's fine uh grundy gorn uh, i think he should have should have traded in darcy i don't i don't know i mean it's 120 average you can't trade a 120 average um but yeah that i think next year there's you start one of grundy and gorn whichever one you think maybe has a better start to the season plus darcy Depending on his injury, he did get hurt. At, I think it was like three quarter time before uh, in the fourth. See what happened there, because he is pretty injury prone, Darcy. But um, yeah, we'll have a look. Reeves played, well, wasn't too great, but it doesn't matter. Uh, Zebul missed the ton, but Hall got it, so that's fine. Um, Hind not as big as last week, but you take it, seventy four. And I think. Anywhere between 75 and like 95 is where he's going to score. Like, yeah, 76, 95, 75. Yeah, it's, it's anywhere between there, really. Uh, it's not great, but there's just no other options. Because if you've got Toby Green, you'd probably be saying it's a better option. But now he's in two weeks isolation. So... Uh, the best ability is availability. And at least he's playing, right? Uh, Dale... Again, there's no better option. Um, I would have liked to get someone else, uh, just because too many dogs players and there's just not enough points to go around in the current super coach scoring system. But yeah, Langford missed, but I got Madden score, and then Dusty would. What did he have? A ruptured kidney or a a 
some something with his kidney and he's out for the season so it's a must trade if you have a trade um if you have two it's perfect because you can go pretty much anyone you could probably get to danger field if you do it properly um yeah it that sucks but it is what it is so saying that i've got to trade him uh i was thinking is there any way like i could play around with dual position but i traded them all already uh, i think i did have brockman in the mids which i could have you know maybe done something with or move someone down it's tough but yeah that's how it is so the person i was going with let's go to ones i can afford hawkins isn't too bad um the cats run home isn't too hard um he's usually pretty good in the run home we'll kick a couple of goals cameron's out so there's you know more kicks targeted at him uh mcdonald that's i mean that's just i say it's too risky of a punt to take Side bottoms had a kind of bad roll, kind of. Uh, Bolton, that's who I'm going with because that's really. I like Taron Thomas, and last game was pretty good, but I think too many people are going to get wrapped up in last game. Uh, he has. I think it was the week before, or two weeks before. Yeah, he like this can happen, and this was the same roll. So, you know, it's just it's just weird. Like, this is good, that's good. Even 84, honestly, like 84 beats 74, so that's not too bad. Um, I, I think he's a good pick. If you have the cash just to get him, you're not losing too much. Like, what? Yeah, I mean, Bolton's cheaper. I'd say, yeah, I, I'd, I'd say Bolton's the better pick because he's safer. And who else is here? Rewalt, I'm not too big a fan of. Um, Jamie Cripps is a no. Heaney, that's a risk and a half. I wouldn't do that. He's going to get injured again. And Buddy's the other one. Uh, very close to Hawkins. He could, but there's Sydney are trying to make finals, so I doubt it happens, but he could be rested. So you lose a week when you kind of need everyone playing right now. Um, yeah, there's no one else here that's just popping out yeah maybe there's someone way down uh but yeah i didn't see it so i think shay is the option we'll see what happens right he could end up just playing full forward richmond have conceded they're not going to make finals so they just rest everyone it's possible um i doubt it though they're, they're kind of a fighting team so i don't think they'd go down like that and then we've got cover, we've got cover, and we've got cover. So we can, if there's one injury per line, we have something for it. Like Langford, we just have to take Madden's score again. Langford should come back the week after from, you know, again, what I've heard. It's not set in stone, but, you know, better than nothing. And yeah, that's pretty much it, honestly. Um, out of trades, they aren't giving more trades. That's my thought on the debate. Because if you traded... Uh, I guess I'll bring this up. This was going to be another video, but um, if we go here, look, uh, row injury, 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 uh, suspended, injury, injury. If you traded non-injured players, um, you'd have enough trades right now. So that's why I don't think they should give out more trades. Um, Granted, stuff like Neil, you wouldn't expect to be injured, but there was the preseason thing. Um, Dunkley wouldn't expect to be injured. It is kind of just rough, but you know, if you trade properly, you could probably have about three trades going into this week. So I don't think they should give any extra out, and I don't think it should go best twenty or anything. I think it, it should just stay the same. If, if obviously a game's called off, I think they should just give you, maybe bring it down to best 20, but I heard that's not in the algorithm. They can't do that. Uh, so probably just leave it as is. But yeah, there's uh, not much this week. Um, final week of trades for a lot of people. Probably their last trade was last week. Um, but yeah, I'll see you all next week. Tasty out.